Welcome back to another Viking in the Village. My name is Gabriel Lorento, and the question for this video is, if it's zero degrees today, and it's going to be twice as cold tomorrow, then what's the temperature? Double zero. Why? Because you just said it was going to be twice, so that means double zero. It would still be zero, wouldn't it? Because zero times zero is zero. It's a great question, because zero you can't take times two or something like that, so... Um, I don't know, I'd say like 40 below or something is what I'd probably say. Zero? Uh, why? Because anything times zero is zero. Zero degrees. Why? Because it's twice the same temperature. Zero degrees because two times zero is still zero. Zero times two. Yeah, zero, because zero plus zero is zero. So, if today is zero degrees, and tomorrow is going to be twice as cold, then what's the temperature? Oh, man. You're talking to me. Have the zero plus. Oh, man. If, if I maybe knew what zero degrees in, in a Celsius or a, whatever it was going to be, maybe I could pull this off. Twice as cold. 20 below. <laughs> How's that sound? <laughs> a lot of people say negative 20 because they're thinking twice as cold. Here, let's ask Siri. If it's zero degrees today, and it's twice as cold tomorrow, what will the temperature be? Oh, here it is, Celsius degrees. I told you. See, I knew this. Negative 136.575 degrees Celsius. Okay, are we talking zero degrees Fahrenheit or Celsius or what? Uh, if it's zero degrees Celsius, then uh, 100 degrees would be boiling, zero degrees would be free, uh, freezing. So if you had twice as cold, you also want to look at Kelvin because Kelvin, 273 would be zero, deg uh, zero degrees Celsius would be 273 degrees Kelvin. So 273, half of 273, about 135 below zero Celsius. About 135 below zero.